A1, we are going to cover integer operations and the bead mass, right? Everyone excited to have this class? Okay, well and good. Let's get started this class, okay? I'm sharing my screen and it will get visible to all of you in just few seconds. Yeah, now it's visible to everyone. Show me thumbs up, okay? So I can see, and if you want to turn on your videos, you are allowed to turn on it, okay? And, but make sure you are not, um, unmute yourself without taking permission okay because we have many many people okay so if you unmute in between then it will be uh, not good for the okay no problem so welcome to the class and let's get started okay so as we can see the title of this today's class uh, algebra day one integer operations and bid mass we are going to start and it is 1.5 hour class okay so let's get started with integer operations and bid mass, okay? So this session is divided into three sections, okay? First of all, uh, we are going to learn. In this, we are going to learn many things like uh, what are the integers, how to use the integers, what are the integer operations, and then bid, bid mass stands for what, and in bid mass, what is our priority whenever we have two or more operations, okay? Yeah, basically bid mass is applicable when and what is the need of the bid mass and all those things we are going to learn in the learning section, right? And someone is asking me, uh, someone is asking me how long is the session? So the length of this session is 1.5 hours, okay? So one and a half hour is the length of this class. And this class is divided into three sections. First, we are going to learn. Then we have the practice session. In this, you are going to get those questions. Those are really the same as we have in 11 plus questions, 11 plus exam, okay? So the totally topic we will cover as per 11 plus exam as well, okay? And the last we have the quiz and in that you can analyze yourself like how you are doing and what is your grasping uh, things and all those things you can check, okay? Okay, so somebody is asking, will we get notes after the session? Okay, so everybody will get the PDF of this session, okay? So nothing is to worry. And let's begin the first section that is the learning, okay? So we are going to learn. So what is our first question? Uh, our first question is about what are the integer operations, okay? So basically, first of all, before starting this integer operations, we must know both the term. And first one is the integer and the next one is operation, okay? Fine. So basically, we must know what is the integer. But before this, Yashu, can you please mute yourself? Yes, everybody, I'm requesting keep mute, okay? When I'm saying unmute yourself, you can unmute, okay? Okay, so let's start with integer operations. And first of all, I'm going to tell you what are the integers, okay? So on a number line, if I am talking about, so in front of you, there is a number line, okay? number line it means this one and this is called number line right this is a line and on which we are representing number so that's why this is a number line okay so basically it's starting with the negative numbers left side you have the, all the negative numbers right side you have all the positive numbers and at the center you have the zero and zero is neither a positive nor a negative okay so is it clear uh, left side all the things is the negative fine the left side all the numbers we have the negative this is the left side and this is the right side, okay? Right side is the positive side, left side is the negative side and the central side is the neutral, you can say, right? Zero is the, uh, not the positive, not the negative. Fine, up to this. So all these three things come under the integer. If anyone saying uh, integer, it means it can be any number. It can be positive number, it can be negative or else it can be also zero. Getting? Yes, Samriti, do you have any doubt? You are raising your hand. Tell me, what is your doubt? Okay, Daniel, what is your doubt? Um, you're, you're wrong because um, an integer is a whole number. For example, 1.32, that can't be an integer because it's not a whole number. Yes, I agree with you. I never said like there is a decimal and fractions is a part of integer. I said all the negative numbers, all the positive numbers. And yes, good to note that point. Like I have to mention whole numbers. That is, I agree with you. 
I have to mention this word, like all the number must be whole, like all the negative numbers, all the positive numbers and numbers should be whole. It cannot be fraction, it cannot be decimal, okay? So this is the condition of the integers, okay? First thing is clear. Anyone have any doubt? What are the integers? Okay, so negative whole numbers, positive whole numbers and the zero. Okay, very good.